everyone, I'm Chris Hernandez. This is the Weekly Report, your look at news about the city of Kansas City, Missouri. The Kansas City Land Bank Commission invites residents who work as construction, real estate, banking, marketing, and urban planning professionals to apply to serve on the new Land Bank Board of Advisors. Board members will use their expertise to make recommendations and improvements to the city's land bank. For more information and to apply, please visit kcmolandbank.org and select About Us. The National League of Cities recognizes Kansas City's proactive small business development efforts in its recent Big Ideas for Small Business report. And it says that Kansas City will host its 2014 Big Ideas for Small Business Summit this September. The city recently created incubator spaces to accelerate small business expansion and streamline small business regulations and inspections. We've also expanded our micro-lending services and crowdsourcing. The city's KC BizCare Center provides entrepreneurs and small business owners with resources to help make their business a success. For example, BizCare staff can help you research basic information, develop your business plan, determine the name of your business, obtain financing, find your location, check out the zoning and research incentives. Our staff will also help you obtain permits, licenses and registrations, comply with tax rules and your employer responsibilities. KC BizCare has information about promoting your business and how you can do business with the city of Kansas City itself. Learn more by visiting kcmo.gov and searching for BizCare. Now let's check in with some of our city's departments. Hi, I'm Heidi Downer with Kansas City Parks and Recreation. As summer finally arrives, residents are invited to celebrate KC Parks. We have many fun events planned that the whole family will enjoy. Come out to South Moreland Park for the 22nd season of the Heart of America Shakespeare Festival, featuring a production of The Winter's Tale. This festival will take place June 17th through July 6th on Tuesday through Sunday evenings. There will also be one Monday performance on June 30th and no performance on July 4th. Gates open at 6 p.m. for pre-show entertainment and refreshments with the curtain call at 8 p.m. Admission continues to be free, but donations are gratefully accepted. For more information, visit kcshakes.org. Kansas City Parks and Recreation is planning for our future and needs your help. A public forum to establish priorities for future improvement of parks, recreation, facilities, programs, and services within the Kansas City community will take place on Tuesday, June 24th at 6 p.m. at the Southeast Community Center in Swope Park. Your opinions are very important and will help with decisions to enrich the future of our community and positively affect the lives of our residents and children. Please plan to attend. Everyone is invited to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the Garrison Community Center on Saturday, June 28th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Free activities include a DJ and live local entertainment, face painting, games, health screenings, and more. For information, visit kcparks.org. July is National Parks and Recreation Month. This year's theme, Out is In, encourages everyone to do something outside every day of the month to make getting out part of your daily routine. Follow hashtag KC Parks on social media during July for ideas and activities to get outside. Be inspired and change your outlook. Visit kcparks.org for the entire Out is In July calendar of events. To learn more about these or other events Kansas City Parks and Recreation has to offer, visit kcparks.org and click on the calendar or give us a call at 816-513-7500. Hi, I'm Floyd Peoples, Chief Fire Marshal for the Kansas City, Missouri Fire Department. The 4th of July is a time for fun, family, and picnics, but the use and discharge of fireworks in the city limits is prohibited. Kansas City Fire Department responds to numerous fires and injury calls each year due to the use of fireworks. Nationwide, more than 15,000 reported fires were started by fireworks, 
and 8,000 fireworks related injuries were treated in U.S. hospital emergency rooms. There are also more fires on the typical 4th of July than any other day of the year. So remember, leave the fireworks to the professionals so you can enjoy your family and picnics and not have a visit from us. Thanks. Have a safe day. Henry with the Kansas City, Missouri Board of Parks and Rec Commissioners and I'm going to turn the podium over now to uh, Mr. Dave Mecklenburg and Dave is, is a commissioner with the Kansas City, Missouri Park Board. Dave Mecklenburg. I welcome you all. I think this is going to be a very, very fine asset for the 6th District in the southern part of Kansas City. I'm from the Northland. I sometimes feel we get neglected but I know John and <laughs> Scott know exactly how I feel, but it's good to see something happening with this and Longview Road and the new grocery store. I think everything is going to be going up and upward and onward. And with that, I'm going to uh, turn it over. I think, uh, John, you want to make a few comments? Okay, thank you, Dave. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, Mark. Uh, it's great to be here. This has been a great asset to South Kansas City. I remember when the YMCA closed and the city took it over and, and the city pledged at that time, oh, don't worry, we're going to do something with it. And uh, what they did with it for several years was let the grass grow. But uh, then we were able to get a, a master planning effort together. Uh, Bonnie Mims, who's now a state legislator and on, a, on our school board out here, was very involved in that, along with uh, many other people, such as Daryl Curls. And we came up with the master plan that not only included this great water park, but also the two football fields that are irrigated just south of here where South Suburban Junior Football Association plays. Uh, we have, of course, the spray pool, the dry playground, and this has been a great asset. And we're really looking forward to the number of young people that are going to come here to use the Bay Rider because this is only the second one of these in the entire state. There's one down by Branson, Public Missouri. They don't even have one of these at Oceans of Fun. They've got one at Schlitterbaum, clear over in Western Wyandotte County. But this is a great attraction. Now, we've had a lot of people come here the last two summers. We've had over 30,000 people come here both of the last two summers. But this is going to have people flocking to it, paying customers, and will help make this a, a money generator for the system. I talked to uh, the mayor of Wyandotte County in Kansas City, Kansas. He lives by their water park. He goes there all the time. He says there's always a line waiting to use it. So this will be a great asset coupled with the improvements to Longview Road, which is, which is also a, a big help for this area and will help people get here safely by walking on sidewalks for, because for as long as I can remember, people had to walk either in the ditch or in the mud or out in the middle of the street. Now they've got sidewalks to walk on. Now we've got bike lanes it really has enhanced the area. We've had, uh, I remember being here a few years ago, uh, my son was about this tall at the uh, spray park opening when it was just a little spray park. And uh, with leadership of the uh, parks board, uh, we, we really have a great parks board right now and I'm really uh, proud of the work they're doing because they're really working together, detail oriented, and they're, you can see from the product here, uh, the thought that's go gone into this along with our, uh, our uh, parks department is outstanding. I mean, everybody, uh, you know, really is dedicated uh, to making this a good product for our citizens. This is one of the best water parks in the Midwest now with the, the addition of this ride. So I would encourage all families, uh, not only in South Kansas City, but our surrounding communities to come out, try it out, visit if you haven't been here, but it's a, a safe environment. Everything is new and we have uh, an attraction that we only have uh, on this side of the state line uh, and, and one of only, I think, two Missouri? Missouri? Two in the state of Missouri. One of them is right here in South Kansas City, so we should be proud of that. I want to thank everybody else uh, that's here, uh, and just uh, really, uh, it's an exciting time. After the $8 million announcement on Longview uh, last week, 
this is a pretty significant investment of several hundred thousand dollars, if not over a, a million, in addition to millions of dollars that we spent on this uh, facility. Encourage your friends to come out, and let's get more people out here and make this uh, just a wonderful place to go for uh, years to come. Thank you. The real show, the star of the show, the flow rider or the uh, the bay rider, and I believe we do a countdown. Yeah. I also been told it takes a little while for the pumps to get the water moving, so I'm going to count down from ten, and we're all going to clap when the water comes. We're going to go ten, nine, eight, eight seven, six, five, four, three, two. two one and a half. One! <laughs> to accommodate increasing operating costs, the city's tow lot will increase rates by $40 beginning July 1st. The new fees will be $240 for regular tows, $340 for medium tows, and $415 for heavy tows. For more information about the city's tow lot, visit kcmo.gov and search for tow. The city will host large recycling events on Saturday, June 7th at the Mohart Center and on Saturday, June 14th outside Winnetonka High School. Both events take place from 8 a.m. to noon. Residents may bring household hazardous waste, documents to shred, and leaves and brush. Household hazardous waste being accepted includes antifreeze, car and household batteries, oil, paint, paint-related chemicals, and tires. Bring proof of Kansas City residency, and remember, these events are limited to the first 400 vehicles. The Public Improvements Advisory Committee, also called PIAC, is a 13-person committee that collects resident input regarding public improvements. So give PIAC your ideas and they'll make those recommendations to the Mayor and City Council regarding the citywide and neighborhood portions of the capital budget. PIAC invites residents to attend upcoming neighborhood hearings scheduled throughout June and July. The next meeting will be held on Thursday, June 12th from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. at the Greg Kleiss Community Center. For a complete listing of upcoming hearings, visit kcmo.gov and search for PIAC hearings. For more information about any of today's stories, please log on to kcmo.gov and search for the Weekly Report. That does it for this edition of the Weekly Report. I'm Chris Hernandez. Have a great week.